Hey good people, what's going on? Uh, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Time is around 4 something here. Woke up a while back. Last 3 days have been, or 4 days rather, have been very very long and tiring. But I was enjoying uh, going outdoors, shooting some videos. You have hopefully seen those. Uh, it was so satisfying to actually, you know, put the video up even though sometimes there are issues in both videos. But it has been some, you know, when you run around with fragrance work, it's always nice. So today I have uh, Issey Miyake fragrance, which is called Lode Sepurum Vetiva. Uh, this is a 2023 release, very brand new release, not much review on this or talk. I saw it recently in one of our retail outlets uh, and I picked it up. So this one comes in EDT Intense Concentration, 100 ml and very beautiful packaging. The originator or the oldie, like what started the whole game is this one. I'll put it next to it, Little Sepurum by Simiake. Since then we have a lot of uh, flankers from this line. And I'm sorry, I'm not using my mic. Hopefully you can still hear me. Uh, so uh, this one, Lotus Sepurum, is a classic. You guys know it's a cooling kind of like a uh, citrusy yuzu, that kind of uh, unique fragrance. It gets compared to sometimes uh, like Blue Purum or Armani's Aqua Du Jour. The same, like they're all big, big fragrances, like massive fragrances. They sell a lot. So after that, Isimiyake made like some dark lines, you know, like Nuit de Sea or Pulse of the Night. You know those lines, you know, the more winter night lines. They also have some summer ones, you know, like every year they release summer flankers. And then I believe they did have uh, like wood and wood. So many, Isimiyake has many fragrances. I have a uh, lot of respect for this house because they do fragrance differently. And every fragrance they have, they have the signature Yuzu note, like Amouage would have something like frankincense in their fragrances. So Isimiyake does that uh, Yuzu. So we'll see how is this vetiver. I had to blind buy it, okay? They had no tester. And these were like, you know, on offer, but without testing a fragrance, you know, it's very difficult to blind buy. Uh, I had to read the reviews. Some people compared with uh, Diorum Sport, the older batches. So that really got me interested. And some people say this is a better man because this is more affordable. And uh, this one is more long, la long lasting, okay? So those are the reasons why I took it. I opened it, then I tried it after buying it. So test run after buying it. Check that out, right? So I think this fragrance is one thing a bit sad. It's not 120 ml this line, 100 ml. It's okay, standard, but we are used to like 120 from Isimiyake. Like this, when you buy, you get 120. This is a 200 ml, by the way. So there you go. There are few in this line. I think wood and wood, this one and one more I've seen, but uh, this is the one I decided to buy, Vetiver. This is how that looks, box. Nice woody color, kind of maroon and white. They are very standard, okay? So they give you how to open the box or sorry cap and there's like description uh, like wooden cap the cap is wooden then uh, vegan juice so it's animal cruelty free well, a lot of this stuff but I, I don't really care for those I care for basically the perfume quality it's made in France and you find the batch code and everything at the box the bottle here is really lovely if you know one Isimiyake bottle you know them all but they do give different coloration this is a bit like a wooden color kind of like a creamy wooden color goes nicely with the texture this is wooden cap very beautiful and the bottle looks very gorgeous i i think this bottle looks really lovely okay so i do have many reviews on isimiyake fragrances this is i think maybe my 15th or i don't know maybe more or less sprayer is good okay let's show you the sprayer it can spray a little it can spray a lot good pressure atomizer and this one clicks onto place so uh this is a 2023 release let me see the notes and i'll tell you So from Fragrantica, they enlisted uh, Haitian vetiver, ginger, clarisage, and watery notes. So you don't see any usage of use anywhere, do you? No, right? So you might think, oh, this is not like maybe the original. Yes, it has a lot of the original in it on the dry down, and it's very similar to uh, the fresh version, Le de Sepurum. There's also Le Bleu de Sepurum, but Le de Sepurum fresh, if you know that one on the summer, they use that kind of a watery aquatic note hint of ginger somewhere and this one the additional note is the vetiver okay how's the vetiver very wearable this one is not those green like a dark vetiver that you'd imagine like very different like gray vetiver of tom ford nope this is a very mainstream kind of vetiver and vetiver lovers will be disappointed okay uh, let me tell you the negatives this fragrance one thing is the vetiver is not very prominent I did not get it, that much of vetiver at any stage. It's nicely mixed with mostly the citrus. It's a more citrus than vetiver. And also you get a little bit of that watery quality, the ginger. So it's a very simple fragrance. And I think 
hint of like a mandarin orange somewhere and the yuzu definitely there but toned down so lemon a little bit of yuzu uh, mandarin orange perhaps and i'm getting um, that watery accords with the ginger and then the last thing i got is the vetiver okay so vetiver is not a big note in this i don't know why they call this vetiver when i'm smelling this i'm smelling like a japanese you know like a restaurant you know if they have those uh, those wines korean wines or something even a korean restaurant they 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 have this frosted glass bottles you know there's just you get that overall image of a japanese restaurant with their sake perhaps okay so it's a japanese uh, citrusy smell very soothing and i think this could be a dedication to japanese culture i reviewed few days back mansera's um what that use wait yeah I did review this one, Fabulous Yuzu by Mansera a few days back and I did, did not mention but it was I think dedicated to uh, Japanese culture and their life in Japan. So that Yuzu is a, you know, it's a very well known thing for Japanese culture. So coming back to this one, uh, the second thing I would tell you, the longevity from this is not superb, okay. Uh, it's a sporty fragrance in my humble opinion. It's a classy daily fragrance to wear, casual style, laid back. For office is excellent, you know, for gym it would be perfect. But the push from this is like those sporty fragrances like Durham Sport, Durham Cologne or something like Chanel Alurum Cologne. That one lasts much longer. But uh, if you compare with the original, this one lasts like double the time of this. Okay, so longevity is moderate, not beast mode. But this one is special. Okay, still how? This one brings back the memory of those Durham Sport back in the days. Many people said this is similar to that. It's not exactly that juice, but some of the aspect of this fragrance, definitely the zingy citrus. If you're a fan of citrus, you know citrus is a volatile note. Citrus not going to last you whole day. And, you know, Versace Purom, Versace Menu Fresh. These fragrances are standard citruses. They last two, three good hours. This one is around the three and a half hours mark. And that's it. It dies down after that. And the three and a half hours is not very really prominent. It's like the dry down stays. After half an hour, it becomes close to the skin. So Lotus Sepurum Vetiver is a good fragrance. It reminds me of Karl Lagerfeld Vetiver, but that one has more vetiver than this. So if you're a fan of vetiver, do not get this. Okay, this is not a vetiver-based perfume like uh, Sultan Vetiver by Nishane, Gyalan Vetiver. Those are your vetivers. Okay, this is not a vetiver. This is a citrus, uh, at best citrus ginger, and um, you can say watery fragrance, very watery. So I like this. It, imagine like a bowl of water and you like dipping, like you're letting some lemons go in there, it's floating in the water. It smells like that top of the water, you smell citrusy, right? Zesty. This is a zesty perfume. I am not getting this for winter. I am waiting for winter to be over when the sunny days are out. Nowadays, it's still warm in Bangladesh, sunny, and it's breezy. Perfect condition to wear this. But wear it with a white shirt, perhaps, formal. And if you're going to play tennis, you know, some sports like you know like squash or something you can put it on nobody's gonna be offended after the shower perfect fragrance to it reminds me of aqua digio like fragrances and uh, it doesn't have the cucumber thankfully um, doesn't have the fishy smell marine smell but i think the uh, fragrance has a little bit uh, more sweetness sorry a little bit sweetness only but not so sweet so if you like that description if you like citruses you can give it a try. It's a very much for fragrance for people who like to stay by themselves, don't want to go out and socialize much, don't like people, you know, like me nowadays. I'm enjoying my own company more. And I'm more and more day go, days go by, I feel like I'm enjoying my company the best. It's nothing better than peaceful and quiet. If you are that person that like to read a, read a book over hanging out in a bar, this is a fragrance. But this is not a loud fragrance, not a show off. It's just a nice little perfume it's just right there it's like a, next to a library or books you can just keep it there i don't know maybe because of wooden cap it's a nice perfume to get but do not pay retail the retails can be very expensive like 100 something dollars do not pay more than uh, 55 or yeah 55 dollars that's that would be the good price for it okay so there you go overall my uh, like ranking on this fragrance or uh, i think i'll give it like a 7.5 out of 10. it's a decent fragrance nothing new here uh, if you already have few ludus summer ones you don't need this but for the bottle, if you're a collector, if you like to wear, if you don't have anything from Isimiyaki, it's, it could be a good fragrance for you to try, okay? So thank you for watching, and uh, let's move on to uploading. That's it, two videos for today. Have a nice day, see you soon. Bye-bye.